It's day, so family, it's Sky Goddess. I want to talk about, as a matter of fact, before I get there, I, you know, you know, about an hour ago saw this press release from We On Network. They're on YouTube, and it's actually, you know, um, a news broadcast division owned by Gravitas Network, okay? The Gravitas Network. And I saw, you know, this news broadcast about a group of Australian uh, scientists, I believe. They picked up, and this is not recently, recently they picked up on these radio waves. It was, you know, during 2020, but they decided to like release the news because they've been trying tediously, and I see that. I see that they've been trying to really interpret what them radio waves really meant. But this is something completely intuitive and astrological, both. And I was like, man, I know I talked about something like this. A few days ago. <laughs> You're asking. What the fuck is she talking about? Aliens. I'm talking about motherfucking aliens. ETs. Extraterrestrial life forms. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's speed shit up. So. I need to. Uh, reference to. A video that I made I want to say weeks ago could be maybe two months ago <laughs> the time is so awkward since of lately so I want to put the link to that video below so y'all can listen in it's more important to listen than to look you learn way more by listening a lot of times not you know, not all the times I you know but I'm gonna say most of the time and I talked about primordial beings because like as I you know heard that news because like I listen more than I you know actually look looking is important but you know you gotta listen listen looks can be deceiving okay um as I started looking into certain aspects here, I realized that the descriptions that I'm seeing here synchronizes so profoundly with, oh my God, the primordial beings, the ancients of days, these ancient beings that y'all can consider as extraterrestrial life forms, ETs, aliens. Aquarians. Um, I remember, you know, well, this is, you know, I've done this many a times. Look, look up at the night sky and look to the stars as though I'm looking for somebody or a group of somebodies. And I would like to say, rescue me, find me, stuff like that. And I remember seeing it recently and this is though like ever since I don't know if you all you know, well, if you've been following me for like ever since I've been on social media which that would have been like 2019 or something like that um, you'd have hear me you know say a lot of times while screwing up I just never felt like I was a human being that's the honest truth I don't have normal human tendencies, I don't feel the need to socialize, I don't feel lonely, I don't feel, you know, I do en engage in procreation, you know, courtship and stuff like that, but like certain normal, and I do eat, I'm not like people, um, not around the clock. Um, some days I don't even eat until way up in the afternoons. It just really depends on the frequencies. 
surrounding me and the, the frequencies I give into. I just, looking back at my life, I don't think I am human being. This is just really a robe of flesh. Just, just that's that's all. But it's like I always feel like my family, they're out there. My people, the people who I resonate with, the people who resonate with me, they're out there. And it's so weird because it's as though someone stunted my growth to cast an illusion. Like, I'm supposed to be taller than this, man. Not fatter, but, you know, taller. But, anywho. I was looking into the aspects. Let me just tell you. Yes! You will all see. We will all see them. Yeah. Before the end of this 12-year transit, hell. Let's just, you know, hope by next airy season. Or by the, you know, the end of, you know, this zodiacal season, which would be March next year. Could definitely be before. Could be in October. Could be in November. Yeah. Well, let's see. Because like I said, some of them are amongst us. Are they making the human population sick? Who knows? But they're powerful. They're high priests and high priestesses. They're aliens. And they're coming to change tradition. I'm going to describe them. Hopefully briefly. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, they're very tall. And like, if you, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to put the link to that, you know, discussion about that astral travel that I had about two or less months ago I don't know the time is moving so weird and funny I just cannot estimate time anymore in terms of how long ago certain things happened certain things they're really tall exceptionally tall but they're not fat. Uh, it's not to say they're skinny either, but they're just not fat. Um, they're definitely not fat. They're really tall. I don't want to call them slim because then some people are going to think of them way too slim. You know what I mean? Yeah. But let's say they're slim and really tall, exceptionally tall. It's obvious they're aliens once you see them. They've got slim faces. They wear like glasses or shades, something like shades like glasses and stuff. Hmm. Their faces are similar to oars. Like if, listen to that video, okay? The link is below. Their faces are similar to ours. So are their eyes.
they have powerful voices they sound if I should compare their voices to a race or ethnic group their voices are similar to people who are of African descent people of African ancestry I should say or African descent okay They're very smart, They're very smart, very fair-minded too, and just. They can also see the future. They're very technologically advanced, very. They hide a lot of what they know. And so they don't let off much of what they know. And so they may seem a bit too innocent or gullible, but remember, they're very wise. They travel around the cosmos. They've been to many different constellations, solar systems. They're like watchers. They've been reaching out to scientists. Not just scientists, but I'm hearing also astrologers and intuitives their family to intuitives they themselves do are intuitive <laughs> They can read people's emotions and how people really genuinely feel. Now, if you, you know, when you do listen to that video, you'll understand what I'm trying to say here because they've got an eye for detail and they've been amongst us. A group of them have been amongst us for some time. It's like, like I said, primordial beings. They're here. They're watching. Um, they don't like religions. You know, religious groups and beliefs and dogmas because it corrupts 
the society of humanity. It's, it corrupts any society. It's really, um, uh, what's that word? Primitive thinking and living. And so they don't like it. Okay. Um, it corrupts people. They believe that too. But also, they're here on a job. I told you all that. And it's to recompense people for all the things they've done, good, good and or bad. They've been watching. They've got short black hair. Wait. <laughs> They're a shapeshifter. They're shapeshifters as well. That's why they've been able to hide in Mensis for so long. They're shapeshifters. They change their appearances to blend in with the public. So they won't be seen as different. And they won't uh, draw attention to themselves. They can change their faces at will. I feel like it's like say I wanted them. When I'm in my comfort zone, I, my usual self, you know, really tall, you know, really, you know, powerful looking and, you know, just really eccentric. And the moment I sent, because like I said, they can see the future, and they're very gifted. They can sense movements and motion. So it's just really, I don't think it's ever possible to catch these, 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 these beings off guard. They're the ones who catch you off guard, if you know what I'm trying to say. But the moment they sense a shift in frequency or movements coming their way, they switch back 
to blend in with the collective of their surroundings. I do believe their hair is black, melanated. I'm gonna like maybe they cut their hairs to a short length. Now that bike is an omen, believe it or not. As obnoxious as the sound is, that's an omen. Now, the scientists, they, they say, you know, it, well, they've been trying to crack the code to decipher what was making, you know, them sounds, casting off those radio waves. And they're going to approach this. They're going to, you know, the sounds are going to get closer and closer. And suddenly... All of a sudden, we're going to be seeing them before our eyes. Just like that. I think like they've been like traveling like slowly. And I think it's like really their way of, you know, not wanting to do certain things to humanity. And so they're like deliberating. They're in some deep deliberation. They've been, you know, you know, really, you know, contemplating, you know really thinking a storm up and then you know they're just here just like that suddenly they're here and their purpose is to judge The honest truth is, when they're angry, they're very angry for the sake of justice. And a lot of people are going to be able to see them because, like I said, they're very tall. And so tall, oh my God. <laughs> their voices man they're very loud when they speak and powerful and resounding I 
almost as though their voices shakes the earth. But, but very, very convincing and influential. I mean, of course, like, finally you, you see. And, you know, this is going to really, like I've been saying for the longest while, that people are going to shift out of that religious crazy nut case frequency. When they realize, you know, science is real. That ain't discrediting the great spirit, the divine, the divine ones. It's discrediting crazy Looney Tunes, Looney Tunes, Christian people. That's what, that's gonna discredit. Now, once they appear onto the scene, yeah, people are gonna suddenly stop whatever they are doing. You taking a shit, man? You don't want to shit no more. You gotta, you want to see what's happening out them doors, okay? That's how it's gonna be like. Some people are gonna run and hide because they're gonna, you know, be terrified. Man, if this doesn't manifest this year, I get a strong feeling about next year, man. But of course, this can always be a few years later. You know? We just in year, you know, year two, going on year three might not happen until the next six years who knows or uh seven years for real for real i wish it wouldn't take that long i really wish it doesn't take that long But people are going to be doing a lot, man, when they finally come in, you know, a lot, whether a lot at home or wherever, but it's just going to, people are going to like <laughs> hide, man. And, you know, going back to the hair texture, like their hair texture, I don't want to play too much on that. And it's not playing, but like these are shapeshifters. And of course, they can take on whichever hair texture they want at any given time. One minute you see them, they got this particular hair texture, another minute. And I feel like this could just be a mixture. You know? They do got powerful voices, loud as well.
I feel, you know, what have they been communicating? Because those radio waves, they're, uh, them communicating. What are they saying? They're traveling. They're traveling. They're traveling. Oh, it's a group of them traveling. Any spacecraft. That's that sound. Now, remember what I said earlier, they're traveling, uh, deliberating, you know, discussing, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then all of a sudden they pick up speed and they're here. So I feel like they're traveling slowly and then swiftly. And, you know, as according to the scientific reports or report, they heard the sounds. Um, let me, let me try not to be inaccurate. like approximately six times per month last year. I believe that was the report. 3333, three, 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 Descended Masters. I just looked down on my phone. That's the time I saw. 3333, they're Ascended Masters, primordial beings. They're communicating whilst traveling. Maybe we won't see them until next year, 2022, year three, Mercury and Virgo. Or that was them communicating repetitively. Could be the same message. So this could be a mothership. Wait, <laughs> where are they coming from? <laughs> Wait, I don't I don't know if that's what I'm actually seeing here. They want to put an end to the fighting. 
they want to put an end to evil you know i was going through you know some stuff that i wrote even as uh early as 2020 and i came across something about you know where there is wickedness there must also be evil because evil shall slay the wicked and of course i'm just paraphrasing you know myself but i kind of want to post that somewhere because evil is a necessary evil if you get what i mean that sounds like redundancy but you know what i mean or evil is a ne necessary wickedness i don't want to consider evil as being wicked uh, wickedness because they're of two different frequencies you know the sensible people they they get what I mean an end to hatred and discrimination and cruelty Of course, they may use the same frequency to rid humanity of such frequencies. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. Like, y'all don't have to believe anything that I'm saying, you know? I've seen, you know, so many other things that I've prophesied manifest. So, like, you don't have to believe me, you know? Like I said, you know, below the videos for entertainment purposes. So... They want to put an end to greed, of course, of course, and to start a whole new beginning, a whole new karmic cycle, not just for humanity, but for Gaia on a whole. They're the primordial beings, governors of the whole universe and galaxies. I told y'all they just travel around this motherfucking bitch, okay? And I mean the universe. They understand what I'm trying to say up in this shit, okay? They know there's no disrespect. They fly because when I saw them in the asshole pen, I'm like, damn. <laughs> and I saw some, yo, know, they were like, the ones who I saw, they were masculine. I'm like, damn, ain't you fly? You know, like, to the motherfucking sky you know you feel what i'm trying to say <laughs> of course they're from the sky so they gotta be fly okay mm, fly you know that kind of reminds me of a vision that i had like this morning an astral travel like late last night to this morning i'm like talking about this you know i wonder if they're shapeshifters i wonder if that person who I encountered in the astral plane was actually a primordial being disguised. Because they can shapeshift into other races. But how I saw them in the astral plane, they were melanated. And I'm, I'm, I'm hearing rulers of the sun. Homeworld destroyed. Had to leave Homeworld because Homeworld got destroyed. Seeking a new beginning.
flying saucers. Oh my god, flying saucers. Space spaceships, you know? Flying saucers, yeah. That's what they come in. in. <laughs> like that is like so obvious. Like that's what I see when I see them aspects. Like, I'm also getting, like, hiding in broad daylight. Like, I was saying that earlier, being shapeshifters, some of them are monsters. And it's like, I'm getting, like, a weird-ass frequency. Like, you know that, you know, whole Superman story about, you know, his home world being destroyed. And, like, you know, um, his parents sent him here on Earth um, to take on a whole new life and persona and so on and so on and so forth. Yeah, I'm getting something like that too. But it's like, you know, um, actually being amongst us in some, you know, way, observing. Because like I said, they're judges. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's what it is. Oh my god. <laughs> they like they watch you even picking your butt. Let me just say that. Like I don't see that right there, but just the aspects. Like you've been picking your butt. They see <laughs> I see that. What cartoon animation? Oh yeah, I think that was Futurama. I don't remember the episode and Bender said something like we saw that something something of that sort like or I saw that or something I think he said something like that to Fry so it's like you know you being watched unbeknownst to you oh no it was it was it was Santa Claus bad Santa Claus and he was watching Scruffy and Scruffy was like not doing anything that you know we would consider unethical and he just rubbed his mustache and he was like i saw that something of that so, you know if you watch your drama you know what i'm talking yeah they're beautiful let me just say they're beautiful and I was just like really getting attractive because like I said before, man, I just say that. Very Venusian and beautiful. A really tall, eccentric looking. Well, like he said, they're shapeshifters. I don't know why I'm getting serpentine like frequency like not reptilian but serpentine or you know serpent okay uh, I'm just saying you know what's coming to me you no know, it's you know certain points in this 
is this a reading this is an interpretation astrological interpretation with you know um downloads you know being incorporated epiphanies that random epiphanies that i'm receiving along the way uh You got beautiful strong legs I'm just saying I'm just putting everything no not everything I'm just putting out you know certain features out there you know just so I can you know come back and listen to this you know once certain things manifest I think their eccentricities are what makes them really desirable I feel like they reek centrality you know they're like walking aphrodisiacs it's, it's it's true like they're the high priestess so like they're really tall and i think what's really um, makes them that adds to their eyes is really their legs which um, they do shape shift like I said and so the length of their legs really do you know does change okay but they've got really long legs which they can change you know to appear to seem shorter that's something that's very um, very very important to you know to note They got beautiful feet, strong feet. I feel like they also walk barefoot. Now, I remember I said they're shapeshifters, but what are their preferences? That's what I'm talking about. Now, you're not going to be like looking for, you know, barefoot people are walking barefooted but they love to walk barefoot it helps them to feel and to read oh my god It helps them to read people's minds. Oh my god. Damn. That's crazy. That's so fucking crazy, man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So their feet are very sensitive. So they walk a lot barefoot. It's a way of reading. Energies, they're amongst us, man. Their eyes, it's as though it pierces through people and they can see the truth. I'm telling you, these are very sensitive and highly gifted beings. They have many gifts. 
They can see the truth that people try to hide by looking into their eyes or looking at them with their eyes. They can actually, they're true manifestors. They can actually say things and actually see these things suddenly manifest before their eyes. Hmm. I'm not going to see how they do this. Actually see how they do this. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. So COVID-19 is their thing. Yeah. You know, people can speak things into being and cause things to happen, cause people to do certain things. And yeah, I'm going to do a second part to this whenever, you know, at some point in, you know, the future, hopefully near future, talk more about them. I'm not going to give away their, you know, you know, their, you know, plot, their, you know, scheme, their, you know, their ploy and stuff like that. No, I, I really honor them. And I feel like this that I'm saying now is what they want me to say. It's like they want me to give them this grand entrance, which is the whole reason why I came across that We On Network video. Because you only see what you're supposed to see, right? Right. 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 This is really making me think, you know, and wonder. This is beautiful. Beautiful because of what I'm, I'm discovering about certain people I've come across and my own self and gifts and abilities you know humanity is undergoing a deep deep change and transformation and I've been saying this for the longest while and I've not been really understanding what it is that I have been saying myself because this is way deeper than what I ever dreamed or thought to you know to be I'm waking up myself. That's all I got to say. Namaste.